I remain with a higher term time frame bearish bias on Bitcoin. Yes, that's even after we've seen a very large move to the upside from twenty six to twenty eight thousand dollars in the space of only a few hours. I'm actually expecting this to be a fake out of our range high. This is known as a failed auction. So I'm going to be explaining what this really means and, you know, the big drop that will be coming next. So I hope that you're all looking forward to this one. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So we obviously saw that very large rise to the upside. Um, yeah, in a space of a few hours, 26 to 28 thousand uh, dollars for me personally i did not short the top of this and that is because of the order flow that we had live in the time okay so we had increases of open interest on high positive delta so what you have to think about is live in the time when that's coming in so you're looking at that on the one minute chart so on the one minute chart that is known as like healthy good order flow okay so you're seeing rises higher highs and higher lows positive delta you know high volume coming into the market so at that moment in time that is a strong uptrend what this turns into being weak is when you start to break down from those highs so it does take you know a few hours we can see sideways still not got the weakness you keep going sideways keep going sideways keep going sideways and then here the following day this is where you then start to see weakness why because then all of those longs high positive delta that you had become trapped and that is where you start to then form weakness so upon seeing that you know we have made our way further and further down signified still really simply by these lower highs and lower lows that daily that you can see flipped really nicely into resistance uh, before still making its way down here uh, we obviously got the bat test of twenty seven thousand dollars so that was this high and if we just mark this in white so it's obvious we have this $27,000 bat test. And that was our high here on the one hour, so it's 30 minute chart. We got the bat test of that and a little bit of a bounce. I told my team, uh, live in the time as we hit that, I'm not going to long this channel retest. And I'm actually, uh, you know, seeing the good short trade that we had. And that was, you know, it required a little bit more of a bounce, but basically off of that value area low retest, which we're still retesting right now today. So, um, you know, we can still, you know, from a visual perspective, we can see here support, 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 flipping into resistance area around 27,300. Um, so, yeah, for me, we have got that back test of 27K, which I didn't long. And actually, you know, preferring of the two, the short trade from 27,300. So I'm still expecting another drop to the downside here. I've already talked my team through in my daily morning update this morning, which is a live stream that happens every single day. Uh, in that Bitcoin live stream, I was explaining how we do have an intraday lower term time frame setup of taking this low one more time. So basically the drop taking out that low one more time for the potential SFP. OK, and that would obviously give that rise to the upside. But for me personally, um, you know, I am actually looking for lower here. So. Again, lower to at least take out that low one more time. And if we don't get the reaction there, you can see we have 26,600 NPOC. Otherwise, I'm looking for that drop once again back down to 24,850. So, yeah, that would be a failed auction. So let me just hide these other bits of analysis for you to make this very clear. A failed auction would be after coming off of this high, price coming back into here. Inside of that level, that is then a failed auction. We've tried to auction higher and that auction has failed. Thus, we actually expect a very large decrease to the downside off the back of that. So we have one final attempt from the bulls right, which is the root that swing fair pattern of the current low and then the rise. But if that you know fails and we fail the auction above this range, I will be looking then, yes, for a very large decrease in price to the opposite end of that range. So, yeah, I am actually foreseeing that happening. That's why I am remaining bearish, because I foresee this turning into a failed auction. So at the moment, right, you have a lot of longs. Uh, they're thinking, OK, we've just retested the range high. We've just retested 27K. Really nice reaction. Let's enter the long trades. You know, on the other side of the coin, you've got, you know, myself that's thinking, you know, that actually this is a good short on the back test. Of the value area low there around 27,300. This is my short. I'm going to look to take it down to, you know, back down to $26,000. So, you know, this is the two 
you know, we're looking at the same data together here. We're all looking at the same data. You got the trader that's then looking at the back test, thinking long. You got the trader that myself that's thinking, okay, I'm just going for the lower high into the short. You know, it's a it is a game of trading, right? There's uh, only going to be one winner at the end of this. So it'll either be the longs that long the back test, or it'll be the traders like myself and the champs that are shorting the retest of value area low. You know, one of these trades will play out. Only time will tell, right? Uh, I know which side I'm on and I know what I'm looking for next. So I want to just emphasize that one more time to decide the winner or the loser. The winner will be myself if we come out and we take that low once more. Again, if we take that low once more, which I'm referring to this low, that will be all the longs that have opened out over the past 12 hours stopped out. And then we could look for the reversal. Or alternatively, we do not get an SFP and we continue down to 26,600 on that naked point of control where we could look for the reaction, right? Uh, but all I am thinking at the moment is that was the short on the retest. Let's look to take it down. If we get the reaction, let's take profit, potentially take a scope long trade. If we don't get that reaction, let's look to take it down back into the range and confirm that failed auction. So that's my bias. That's my trades. I thought it was an interesting video. So you could see the, you know, in trading, it's all a game of probabilities, right? We don't know who's going to win this. We just know which side we're trading on. We know which sides we'd prefer to, to follow. So if you want to follow my side, if you want to follow my calls, uh, you know, live in the time as it's happening, explaining why I'm not longing, explaining the short trades, you know, this is still ongoing at the moment. So if you want that kind of like, real insights as it's happening as well as of course the video library with all the educational content and you know things such as like live trading streams where you can see the stream and you can see the thought process and the trades being taken in front of your eyes you know if you want that type of analysis and insights and education then that's what you get over via chartchampions.com from myself and all the other coaches at chart champions so yeah if that sounds of interest to you you know where to get it chartchampions.com uh this video will be uploaded in roughly two hours um, to the public here on YouTube. But uh, yeah, obviously this has already been given the information inside the group, but we delay on about two hours schedule for YouTube. So cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.